Hello and welcome back to my MotoGP 14 career mode. It's episode 2 and uh, we're finally starting the season here. Um, I have no idea which team it's going to be for. I think it's going to be for the uh, Mark VDS team but we are going to start the new season right now. Um, new season about to start, that's a nice touch there. Uh, kind of like uh, the uh, clippings on the F1 uh, game. Of course, it's a night race, obviously, Qatar. I actually like Qatar as a track. I didn't used to like it on MotoGP 13 for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, I've gone around it a couple of times on this game, and I, I do like it quite a bit. So, um, it's a nice track. Relatively simple, but still a nice track. Um, there it is, pre-race, before round one. Um, this is where it all really begins. We're at the CIP team, of course. Uh, we moved over there. Uh, uh, after the final one, um, this is the championship points, as we already know. Pretty much the Formula One points, just slightly different. Um, I mean, obviously, we should be able to challenge for 15th, so um, I think we should do okay here. Um, more your media. Yeah. Um, don't really know why I looked at that. Uh, just going to look anything here. So I've got a. Brian Shelton as our teammate, and there's also Tanushi in there as well. Um, but I think we're going to try and just aim to get points in this first race, even though I do like Qatar as a track. It's not going to be the most easy thing to um, get ahead here. So we are still keeping to um, medium difficulty. Haven't quite, I haven't been on this game in uh, quite a bit recent, uh, quite a bit. So. Um, well, yeah, I haven't been on it since basically the last career mode video, apart from maybe once or twice, just quick race, but um, still not going to turn qualifying on for this. I think it makes it better if I come through the field, to be honest. Um, and I think I can come through the field uh, pretty well. Gave us some uh, interesting battles in the last race as uh, we skipped that instantly. Uh, I've been pretty good with that so far, which I'm pretty happy about, so uh, not too bad in that um, sense. We're going to do two races here, so we're doing Qatar and... I uh, can't even remember what the second race is now. Um, I'm sure I remember when we get there. Um, I remember Argentina as the third race, but um, I can't remember the second race for the life of me. And yeah, Qatar has uh, actually had some great races in the past. I remember when Casey Stone had been there a couple of years ago when he was still in MotoGP. Uh, obviously this year was fantastic as well with Marquez and Rossi and that great battle. Um, Rossi seems to have a thing with this track as well. He's won here quite a few times. He's had quite a lot of battles when you weren't expecting to be that far up. Every component influences an aspect of performance. Components are developed by acquiring data packs. You can show the squad which component to work on at any moment. But remember, you can only obtain one data pack per session. Developing a component oh, yes. may require more or fewer packs, depending on the complexity of the component. To obtain the data pack for each session, just complete a full lap of the track, and a signal will notify you that the data is being collected. When you have completed a component, it uh, will be installed yes. automatically for the following race weekend. There we go. Right, yeah, so this should be uh, pretty helpful. Um, just going to do that. Um, bike development. So that, that's a nice touch. Uh, we're going straight into the race, obviously, here, as I said. Um, engineer... I'd want to maybe get a bit more uh, speed here. Uh, maybe go. There we go. Um, no, I'd, not too fast. Yeah, there we go. Higher gear ratio. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, we just uh, we need some uh, pace down the straights here, really, to keep up with a couple of people, really. Uh, but we're going to dive into the race now. 29, whereas on the grid it's uh, uh, Jack Miller, sorry, on a pole position. We're obviously starting at the back. Um, hopefully I don't make too many mistakes with uh, rustiness here. 
Here we go. First time with this bike, I think. And we're away. And it's a terrible start. <laughs> it's an absolutely terrible start by me. Uh, our teammates also back down here with us, so that's not gone well at all for us. Uh, I've got to get used to this after playing uh, Grid Auto Sport a bit as well. Um, not get on the power too early, which we almost did there. And we're back down to last place, sadly. Um, right, we've gained a few places there, luckily. And uh, can we get up the inside of, inside of Danilio? Yes, we can. We've absolutely shoved him out there. Um, oh, he's come back at us, though. We've broke quite hard into there. There is uh, Ferrari, our former teammate, uh, for those two wild card races. There's Tanucci. Uh, big battle with him here. Go around the outside of him. Bastianini's down in 21st, I think that was. As uh, Alex Marquez takes the lead, uh, trying to represent real life as Bastianini. Uh, goes back up the inside and also uh, Otelli, I think that is. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name. Just trying to get into the points here, really. A uh, bit dodgy there on the acceleration. That's We've taken that corner very nicely. Um, and can we take both of them up the inside here? Yes, we can. We're up to 18th. So that's fantastic. And now we've got the... Long burst down here, will, which uh, will hopefully be helped by the gear ratios, but it hasn't really helped us that much. We've been absolutely swamped by about three bikes there. As there's a right old ding dong in front, as uh, I believe John McPhee's involved in that. But that's basically the battle for the lower end of the points. So uh, if we can pass a couple of them, then we're in the money here and uh, looking at a solid points finish. And of course, it is only the first lap here. This is quite a long lap as well. So, um, Masbu down there in 15th, which is a bit of a surprise. I thought he might be a bit higher. Um, oh, God, we need to get on the brakes there. And now the burst on the power. We've uh, gained 10, or sorry, 11 places there. So, that's a great start from us. As it's um, Alex Rins who uh, is first place, but somehow Marquez sets uh, the track record despite it being lap one, which is a bit confusing. You would have thought Alex Rins would have had the fastest lap. Uh, we're trying to outbreak this guy here, which we do. We really need to try and get our asses moving here to try and catch up with the guys ahead. We're not doing that at the moment. Even it, even, even though they are battling. So it's uh, a bit frustrating here. So we've won wide there, which is exactly what we don't need to do. We've all got a bit out of shape there, as it's now Jack Miller that leads. And, uh, come on. That's a great, we took that corner pretty nicely. Slight corner cut there, but we took that pretty nicely as well. And now, if we can get a good X out of this corner. Uh, we put the power on a bit too much, but we have gained a bit there on the uh, guys ahead. We really do need to gain in the corners in this race. There's McPhee down in 17th will be a bit disappointing for him. Oh, I've taken that very nicely and now we're right in the scrap for the points. Tried to go around the outside of McPhee, he's not going to be happy about that. And now it's almost a four bike battle here and uh, the guy who leads it is in uh, the points which is now Grenado as Miller retakes the lead from Marquez and we're going to dive up the inside here and we've muscled him out, we've run slightly wide me and Grenado side by side pretty much touching there and now we're trying to get on the power as we've gone well wide there but somehow we haven't spun it and uh, we're up into a points position here as uh, we're being harassed there as we're trying to catch Mazbu now for 14s I think it's Circuit of America which is the next track so there we go um, I'm not exactly a fan of that track for F1, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how I go on uh, motorbike because Marquez is back in the lead and he breaks the track record again, flipping, emulating his brother as him and Miller are absolutely trading positions left, right and centre as we're getting attacked from all angles behind us by a Calvo. As we're into the braking zone here now and we've retained the position um, and we might be able to get up to uh, 12th here possibly, I think that looks possible. Especially since uh, the guys in 13th and 12th are battling quite a bit. And I've cut the corner again here. Um, a bit frustrating, really. 
uh, that I've made a few mistakes, but uh, it has helped us pull away a bit. I guess Hanukkah's in 12th. Uh, we had a bit of a battle with him in the uh, one of the wildcard races as we stuff up the inside of Mazbu, but he's having none of it. We're trying to mug him off, and we've got past him up to 14th. So that's a great move. And now we're having a look possibly at Hanukkah and Guevara. Can we get a run on them and get 12th place, which would be a solid finishing position for a bike that probably shouldn't be up in 12th? Oh, God, we got on the power way too early there, though. I, want, I just want to uh, iron out some of these mistakes because they're starting to frustrate me a bit, to be honest. That's much better. We've got on the power quite nicely there and set the bike up um, for the next corner pretty well. That was... Took, we went in there a bit heavy, sadly, but if we can get a good run out of here since they're battling as well. Uh, run slightly wide, which is a bit frustrating, but it's Hanukkah trying to go for the move on Guevara. Miller retakes the lead again. They're having a right battle up there. I thought it was just Fanati and Miller. Oh, hello. Oh, God's sake. I keep running wide at this track. Um, bit frustrating, but we're going to try and go up the inside here. No, that's completely compromised our line. That was a very bad idea. Uh, are we going to try and go for something here, maybe? Or are we just going to try and get the bike lined up? I think that's what we're going to try and do. Which we haven't done that well, sadly. It's a bit frustrating again. Uh, we're running out of options here to make a pass um, on these two. And there is the finishing line. It looks like we're going to come home 14th, sadly, which is... Frustrating, I think I could have passed the two in front. Although they are having a right old battle, and we better not lose 14th. Um, there we go, 14th place then. Slightly disappointed was that, to be fair, but I mean, you can't really do much when you're at the back of the field in a pretty poor bike, so maybe I do need to qualify a bit more to try and push for the top 10. Otherwise, we're going to be struggling to really well, get into the higher positions uh, for Berlin. the points. Let's have a look at the final standing. McPhee down in 18th, that's not great. Um, and a couple of guys didn't even uh, ride. But it was won by Jack Miller. Oh, in fact, Rins and Marquez come across the line at the exact same time, um, which is pretty amazing. Fanati in 4th, Cornfile 5th, and there's uh, Vinales and Vasquez as well. Kind of what you would expect. But at least we have got a few points there. Um, Miller, unsurprisingly, leads the championship. So we've got a grand total of two points there, but I'll take it. We beat our teammate, and Mahindra are third as well, which we've helped with that quite quite significantly. Um, and we gained more fans, so that's even better, really. Um, so the next next race is uh, Circuit of the Americas. Um, should be an interesting race. Uh, not exactly a fan of it for uh, Formula 1, as I said, so um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be another long lap, quite like uh, Qatar, actually, and how long it is. Uh, oh, look at that. Marquez wins. What a surprise. And also Rabat wins in Moto2, so no real surprises here, to be honest, uh, in the first race at Qatar. Um, Mazbu, uh, answer and yeah, he's... Uh, Talking about my battle with him, which is quite nice to see, of course. Um, and yeah, there we go. They're happy with me. Um, well, uh, apparently Saxo Print RTG want me, which is a bit weird. But uh, so yeah, look at that uh, Honda dominating there as well. Uh, so it's all looking good. And um, Agata in third, crikey. Um, but anyway, let's go on to the next race. Uh, yeah, it is Austin, as I expected. Oh, God, no, I thought that was a flipping uh, thing that you can get copy stri strikes for, but uh, it wasn't. It was just a loading screen. Um, just waiting for this now. Um, not sure I'm going to look forward to this race, especially considering there's a lot of straights here. Uh, I believe it's a five lap race as well, we're just uh, going on here. Um, 
Yeah, I already know about that. Uh, so I think we're just going to go straight into the race here again. And yep, here we go. Maybe we can try and get into the top ten in this race, but I, I, I'm thinking it's going to be difficult just simply because we don't have the power down straight. So we're going to have to absolutely nail all the corners around here, which I don't always do in on form, uh, in Formula One cars, so it's going to be difficult on a bike, really. Maybe it'll be more suited for me on a bike, but uh, I think a great place to gain a few positions is... Uh, first corner really I mean I didn't really gain many uh, places in the first corner in that last race but that maybe hindered me getting into the uh, higher points positions potentially um, so that may have been the reason but we just we just need to push in this race and just try to, try to nail everything really Just trying to grow into this game, and I mean, if we can get a top ten um, in one of the first four races, I'll be happy with the bike that I'm in. Really. Obviously, we want to be in. Oh, hello! It's raining, well, which is going to make it interesting. Second Where rain race I've had. I don't think I've seen many rain races on the YouTube uh, videos that I've watched for this game, so I seem to be pretty special here. And it rains in America. That's never happened in Formula 1. I don't think I've ever had a wet race at the Circuit of Americas in my F1 league racing. I might have had it uh, change halfway through, but apart from that, uh, I don't know. So this is pretty amazing, really. So uh, the rain is certainly going to throw things up here. I have no idea what to expect because the last time it the last time it was raining, it was more of a drying track. This looks like it's absolutely soaked. Um... Kenton's ninth there. Um, and we're obviously at the back again. I think our teammate is again as well. Time to get going here again though. At the Circle of the Americas and we are away. And it is absolutely raining. <laughs> and um, th this is a lot worse than what it was in uh, the second race last time. I believe it was Valencia or was it? I, can't I think it was Valencia where it uh, kind of rained the first time. It's, oh God! Um, we're going to have to redo that. I think our legs just got crushed there. Uh, I knew I knew this was going to be dangerous going into this turn one. I remember watching uh, the flip in, I, think it was, I can't remember if it was Moto2 or Moto3 in there. Uh, I think that might have been in the rain. I don't, actually, I don't think it was, but there was a pretty big crash into turn one, if I remember. So we've actually gained a lot of places there. We're already up to 18th. As, oh, God, we're going to have to be careful into here. And I've got... Oh, no, 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 no. That was awful. Um, we're going to have to put even further back here and even lose myself a few positions because there we go. Oh, God, it's so tight. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. Hello. Oh, God almighty. I have no idea how you're supposed to do this section on a motorbike. It is the tightest thing ever. And we've just been almost collected there again. We are up to 15 somehow. That's mainly because we've been missing all the corners and gaining positions on everyone has been absolutely mugged there. Looked like someone binned it behind, but I think the combination of me not going around this track and just the tight twisty corners and the rain have just not helped me at all here, but we are somehow up to, well, 15th. We were up to 13th temporarily there, but the straight's going to be interesting as I was not expecting that much of an elevation through that corner, uh, but we are up to 13th again here as we break into the very tight hairpin and... Grenado gets a run on us and so does Mazbu and we're going to get absolutely destroyed down the straight here I think. Um, unless we can get a bit of a toe maybe. Yeah, just look how slow we are down the straight compared to the guys in front, Mazbu and everyone else as Mazbu actually pulls out. Rins takes the lead of the race and uh, this should be interesting breaking into here. Bit of contact in front actually as we get a slight touch from behind from someone, not quite sure who who is actually behind us, and uh, dive up the inside of there of Masbu. We actually managed to nail, um, uh, I can't even remember who it was there now. Uh, trying to go up the inside, and there's an almighty scrap in front of us as well. For uh, That's a top 10 as well, so we really need to try and push for that. McPhee is in 12th. We have to try and get ahead of some of those guys. In, in fact, 
ideally all those guys in the pack, but we can't if we keep losing positions to Masbu. But if anything, even though we're battling with Masbu, we're catching the guys up ahead. I think it's headed by Oliveira, who's just overtaken Ken. I think it's that battle that's uh, going on in front as um, very treacherous conditions here. Don't know why I'm breaking so late in terms of that as well. We got nice. We got nice drive out the corner there, though. Uh, but again, we're not going to have the uh, straight line speed here at all. So that's not going to help us at all. As Rin somehow sets a track record in the wet. Uh, I'm assuming that's the wet record and not the dry record. Otherwise, I'm slightly confused. And we really, we do need to be more confident on the brakes here, because I've seen so many times that flipping Masbu has stuck it up our inside. Try to take that corner nicely. We've actually taken it pretty nicely. Look how much we gained on McPhee and the rest in front there. And we take that bit nicely and we take this bit nicely and then it starts to get a bit more complicated. As we start, In fact, we actually nailed this pretty well and we're challenging for 10th place on Kent here. And look at how much we've gained through this section. We've absolutely nailed it this time. We're up to 10th place and we're underneath Oliveira potentially and Bagnia. And we're a bit argy bodgy with Oliveira. Can we get it back? through, yes we can, but we've run wide we're going to have to be careful coming back on and we've just about got it on Oliveira up to 8th, but Oliveira's trying to come back at us but he can't quite do it and look at this, we're up to 8th place, who the hell would have called that maybe the AI are just slow around here for some reason, we are going to get absolutely destroyed down the straight here though, I have a feeling as Bagnia overtakes Oliveira and now he's going to be right on my tail might even have to weave about a bit here or something, I don't know, we're just going to have to find some way to not get destroyed down the straight but already Bagni has gone through and here comes Oliveira as well and Oliveira is trying to go for the double move here as well we're going to try and go up the inside of both potentially we're trying to, it's a breaking competition and we're going to make it I think they're both coming back underneath me though and Oliveira's taken both of us, fantastic scrap here for 8th, ninths, and 10th we're back up the inside and can we make it stick, yes we can Oliveira is back past Bagni again fantastic stuff Great that we're battling with the AI on not just uh, MotoGP 14 but Grid Autosport. So uh, it's nice and fresh after uh, playing on F1 a bit where the AI aren't really that competitive, you would say. Uh, we've gone very slow through there, but actually we went quicker than the AI somehow. I don't quite know how. Maybe they're just being more tentative than me as we've run wide there, which isn't going to help us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We were just way too hot in there for some reason. I wasn't even on the power that much, but it looks like we're just going to have to try and hold on to eight here. As uh, trying to go back up the inside is Oliveira, and he's got it, and Bagnia's back up the inside as well there. Absolutely forced me out, so it looks like we're just battling for eight here. Um, as again, we're getting destroyed down the straights, but we're going to have to try and find a way back past these two now. We're going to try and get an undercut on them here. They are battling a bit, and we've uh, tried to get an undercut here or something. Oh god, we went in hot there and we've actually taken Oliveira already and we've taken both of them. They seem to be pretty slow through there actually. And maybe now we can try and gain on the uh, guys in front. If we can nail it. We need to try and nail this section which we kind of have actually. I don't think we're going to have the straight line speed to pass the guys in front unless we get a very good run out of here. It's Efren Vasquez of all people who's up there. But we've run wide there, which is probably going to hinder our chances of going any higher than... Oh! Well, yeah, that was bad. Uh, we just... Yeah, four flashbacks in this race have been pretty poor. Um, pretty poor, but we are up to eighth place. So, I mean, it has been terrible riding for me, but I am up to eight, so... I guess it hasn't been at the same time. I've just had a few blips where I've just been riding like a complete donkey. As uh, Vasquez is now at the upside, uh, up the inside of um, Vinales, and it just seems to be that I gained so much time through that flipping first sector there that it just gives me such a buffer to the guys behind. It seems absolute massive gap to the guys behind now. Sadly, that run wide just has cost us any chance of challenging Vasquez and. Uh, Oh, we need to get breaking down into there, and we just about do. Looks like the two behind us still battling as well. It's Rins and Marquez battling also up there. Uh, we slightly cut, cut the corner there. Maybe we can go for something last gasp here for a for a sixth place or seventh place on Vinales or Vasquez. I'm pretty sure Vinales is going to try and go for something on Vasquez here potentially at the end. We have actually closed up pretty nicely there in the uh, final sector as well, and historically we've taken 
Uh, that these corners better than the AI. And we've taken that pretty flat out as well, quicker than the AI as we run wide again. We seem to be doing that constantly. Don't want to do the Alex Marquez, but again we just can't get the car turned, uh, not the car turned in, the bike turned in quick enough around that corner and I think we're going to have to settle for eights unless something dramatic happens at the final corner, which it hasn't. And uh, yeah, that was just a tale of me being quick in certain corners and then slow in others, but uh, Miller wins again and we're going to come home in eighth place, which is a fantastic result for us. And we've got an achievement called the Cowboy, apparently we're Lewis Hamilton now. Um, yeah, crazy race in the wet. Um, eighth place will do for us quite nicely. The highest the Mahindra bike in the field ahead of Oliveira. Um, and that's going to help us quite nicely in the championship, I think. Uh, where are we? We are not quite in the... I'm guessing... No, we're just out of the top ten there, sadly, in 11th place. Um, Miller leads, um, unsurprisingly. KTM lead, unsurprisingly, as well, really. Uh, new rider unlocked, Vantino Rossi. Okay. Um, and even more fans coming in, unsurprisingly. Uh, but yeah, that's a fantastic result there. I think the, the, they were two solid results. Obviously, I, I want to try and challenge a bit higher, if possible. Maybe up to into the top five potentially. I mean, if I qualified, I'd definitely able to be able to do that, I think. But um, I think I can do pretty well here in this season. Just waiting to uh, see the winners of the other races here. And unsurprisingly, it's uh, Rabat winning in Moto2, Marquez winning in the main class MotoGP. Um, and Lorenzo resists for a few laps, but in the end he has to make do with second place. Where have we heard that before? Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, race report. Um, apparently I went over the, fa uh, the fans' hearts and minds. Um, and apparently Miller wants to uh, congratulate me. Okay, thank you very much. Um, and there we go. The Tribe of Robert. Um... Kind of, kind of a weird title actually but what, whatever you want MotoGP um, anyway I think that's going to end the video for today and this has actually gone, gone on for quite a while here um, but uh, thank you for watching and until episode 3 goodbye